we will discuss about the atmospheric pressure and winds the weight of the atmosphere pushing down on a unit area on the earth's surface is called atmospheric pressure it is measured with a barometer air pressure varies with temperature hot air being lighter rises upwards and exerts less less pressure whereas cool air is dense and heavy hence exerts more pressure in the equatorial region between 5 degrees north and 5 degrees south latitude it is hot throughout the year so the atmospheric pressure in this area is always low this low pressure zone is called equatorial low pressure belt in the polar regions it is extremely cold throughout the year and the pressure is always high these regions are called polar high pressure belts the hot air rising over the equatorial belt moves towards the poles by the time this air reaches 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south latitude it becomes cool and heavy and begins to sink this creates a high pressure belt known as the subtropical high pressure belts cool air from the polar regions and warm air from the subtropical region meet near 60 degrees latitude in both the hemispheres the larger mass of warm air rises creating a strong upward current the cold air gets pulled up by this current this creates a belt of low pressure called the subpolar low pressure belt the permanent belt pressure belts do not remain at same positions throughout the year they shift slightly northwards when the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and little southwards when the southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun wind what is wind the horizontal movement of air is called wind the instrument used for recording the direction from which a wind is blowing is called a wind vane the speed of wind depends on the pressure difference between the two regions the speed of wind is measured with an anemometer winds can be broadly classified as permanent winds and local winds permanent wind the wind that blows from the permanent high pressure belt to the permanent low pressure belt and maintain their direction of flow throughout the year are called permanent prevailing or planetary winds there are three types of permanent winds they are trade winds westerlies and polar winds trade winds these winds blow from the subtropical high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belts winds are often named after the direction from which they blow in the northern hemisphere trade winds blow from the northeast and are called as northeast trade winds whereas in the southern hemisphere the trade winds blow from the southeast direction and they are called as southeast trade winds these winds blow with great regularity westerlies the winds blowing from the subtropical high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt are known as westerlies these winds blow from somewhat westerly direction in both the hemispheres the westerlies blow from southwest in the northern hemisphere and northwest in the southern hemisphere these winds are not as regular as the trade winds polar winds these winds blow from polar high pressure belt to subpolar low pressure belts they are also known as polar easterlies because they blow from an easterly direction these winds blow from the northeast in the northern hemisphere and from the southeast in the southern hemisphere since these winds originate from the polar regions they are extremely cold local winds 
winds that arise due to local or regional changes in temperature or pressure are called local winds. These winds affect small areas for shorter duration of period of time. Some local winds like land and sea breeze and monsoon are periodic that is for a fixed period of time and in a particular direction. But unlike permanent winds, local winds do not always blow in the same direction. Land and sea breeze. Water takes longer time than land to get heated and to cool down. During the day, land becomes hotter than the sea. The air above the land becomes hot and rises up leading to low pressure over the land. Whereas the air above the sea is cooler leading to high pressure over the area, over the sea. So the cooler air from the sea moves towards the land during the day. This breeze is called as sea breeze and it brings down the temperature in coastal areas during the day. At night, the land cools down much faster than the sea. The air over the sea is warmer and lighter whereas the air over the land is cooler. The warm air over the sea rises and creates a low pressure over there. So, the cooler air from the land moves towards the sea during night. This breeze is called as land breeze. Monsoon. It is a seasonal wind which blows in a fixed direction during a particular season but it reverses its direction with the change of seasons. Cyclonic winds. These winds are irregular winds of shorter duration. They are caused by pressure systems known as cyclones and anticyclones. In a cyclone, strong winds blow in a spiral towards the low pressure area at the center. Cyclones bring heavy rains and cause damage to the places over which they pass. In an anticyclone, gentle winds blow from the high pressure area at the center towards the surrounding low pressure areas. Anticyclones bring stable weather and clear skies. The last topic of this chapter is Super Cyclone 1999. The eastern coast of India is one of the most cyclone hit regions of the world. Cyclones that develop over the Bay of Bengal strikes this region during the months of May, October and November. One such cyclone named Super Cyclone hit the state of Orissa on 28th October 1999. During the super cyclone, the speed of the wind reached up to 300 km per hour. These winds pushed a high wall of water onto the shore, flooding large areas along the coast. More than 10,000 people and large number of domestic animals were killed and 15 million people were left homeless. Here we come to an end of this chapter. Thank you.